So here is a brief update on the progress as of the uh, beginning of May for Moodle 3.5. And um, as you can see, uh, this is Fortson on Moodle 3.5. And um, basically what we're doing is we're taking a different approach to the styling in order to give site admins more control. So um, part of that is taking all the features, all the cool things that Fortson offers and wrapping it in the default boost styling. So if you like boost and you like the courses where it's very, um, you just have your heading up at the top, you have your breadcrumbs and a very blocked, um, kind of style like this, um, Fortson can accommodate that, but look at what you also get for teachers. You get the um, teacher dashboard, which kind of organizes all the main links and things that teachers would need to do. Um, you have site admins. Look at this. When you want to turn editing on, you can scroll down the page. And when you click to turn editing on, it returns you to right the exact same spot that you were on when you click the page, uh, the editing button. We also have uh, the My Courses drop down, and um, you can also turn on this course. So if you wanted to hop around from heading to heading, again, all these are optional. It's just a checkbox. But let's look at the new direction that we're taking this theme and, and why things needed to change. Well, first off, um, Moodle 3.5 and the Boost upgrade um, broke a lot of things with Fortson in terms of the styling. So we had to take a look at that anyways. And um, so let's hop over to site admin and we will go to the Fortson settings. And we're going to have some presets. Also, Fortson is compatible with any of the boot swatches. So um, if you wanted to use any of the um, default boost uh, bootstrap, uh, you know, stylings, you can just upload them and they work. Um, previously, they really wouldn't work, um, but we're, we're working on making everything more compatible. The new area that we're adding in content areas is the idea of a layout chooser. So right now we're looking at the default boost layout. Um, and we also have the default boost layout with the header image and course title box. So if you remember when Fortson was first released with the version 3.2 of Moodle, we put the header image inside with the course title and the breadcrumbs. And a lot of people like that because it stayed true to the look and feel of Boost, but it added an element of style to it. Um, so we have that as well. And then we have several other ones where you can have full width top header image. And I'm going to show you that. And let's uh, save this just to kind of give you an idea here. And again, it, sorry, it takes a minute for all the uh, CSS to recompile. So while we're waiting, here it is. And so now um, let's go to the home page and let's go into a course. And as you can see, it puts the, the page is full width and the image is at the top. So you can change up the styling you know, all the colors and everything, but you can get this page layout. Um, so before it all used to come packaged as part of the preset. So if you wanted this look for the page, you had to have the, the proper uh, preset and maybe you didn't like those colors, but you were stuck because you liked the way that the image was handled. You were stuck using that preset. So now we, we've separated the style from the page layout. And this is going to be an ongoing process. Um, so that was one style. So maybe you want um, um, centered content with a full screen header image. 
So let's look at what that looks like. And if you're familiar with um, the previous Fortson style presets, this would have been the K12 look and feel. So again, let's go into a course. Here's our ADA course. As you can see, it's all laid out um, and it's centered. The content is centered with a full screen image behind it, okay? So um, that's one element. Now, the second element that we're working on is, again, under Appearance and Fortson. The second part that we're, we're working on is the idea of the, the sections or the topics and headings, uh, you know, the topics and uh, whether it's a topic or weekly format, um, we want to provide some prepackaged uh, different looks for each of those. And so here I'm going to pick style two and click save changes. Style one is boost default. And we're going to let this reload here. And so as you can see, what this does is now each of the topics has a unique style to it. Um, so we're going to load it up with, you know, a half dozen or so different looks or styles for each of the um, topics. So whether it's uh, topic format or weekly format, you'll be able to change this, uh, the way that the, the learning content is displayed in the course. And we're hoping that we can get kind of creative with that. Um, so, so that is another element of what we're trying to do. And then, of course, we will have this packaged with a couple of presets uh, that will kind of get you up and running with some, some pretty styling and colors and all that. Um, but this is initially the work to um, separate out the 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 basically the style presets. Um, so we're going to give you a lot more flexibility. Um, it's in, and it's going to provide a lot of um, flexibility moving forward um, when when we see something that might be beneficial to our users. Um, we can design instead of having to change the entire theme, we can just design a new page layout. Uh, and, and include that in here. One of the neat things that we have here, um, and I'll just show this real quickly, is uh, this is going back to our initial release of Fortson where we had the image in the um, course title area. So we'll take a look at that real quick. And then we'll end this video because it's quite long at this point. I'm surprised you're still watching if you are. So as you can see, this is how um, a default layout can look. And um, this is pretty true to Boost Core. And uh, we've just wrapped a little bit of additional styling. So as you go from course to course, the images change just up in the top. Um, otherwise, uh, very, um, you know, uh, similar stylings uh, throughout the rest of the page. So um, thank you for watching. And this is the exciting stuff that we're doing for Fortson moving forward with version of Moodle 3.5.